We first began coming to McAllister's as our first date. Uh, it was Mother's Day 2005, and it's like we've been coming back ever since. We mainly come uh, for lunch. Uh, we're here most Sundays. I went to my first McAllister's about 11 years ago because I absolutely love their tea. I'm addicted to their sweet tea. The magic of McAllister's tea is that we brew it to specific temperatures to optimize the flavor and we add the sugar to the tea just at the right temperature so we get a perfect blend. I tend to be one of those kinds of people in restaurants, I've got a favorite item, but at McAllister's I don't because every item is good. We'll bring friends in to McAllister's and say, well, what's good? And I'm like, everything. Our all-time favorite menu item is the McAllister's Club. It's not just a sandwich. It can be a work of art. We designed the classic 13-layer club. Each step was very carefully thought through. Our classic honey mustard was a signature of McAllister's. McAllister's has done a great job through their R&D and menu engineering efforts to come out with regional flavors. Certain items that they felt that they used to get in another part of the country but now they can get here. You know, we have a wide variety of things from salads and spuds and sandwiches and things like that that just about anybody can find something on there that will become their favorite. I have never had a bad thing at McAllister's. Every item on the menu is great. It's quick service but it's not fast food. When you want to deliver a customer service, you want to have legendary customer service, something that people come into the restaurant, you give them something that's a memorable, or one of a kind experience, something that they're unable to get elsewhere. We have great tea, but people don't come here for the tea. They come because we know their name. We know what they like about uh, our menu. We know them. They just treat you like you're part of a family. And I think that stems from the employees and the management feeling like a family. And I think when they feel like a family, it trickles down to the customers. When we're working with a new hire, we tell them to have a conversation with the guest. You can talk about the weather, you can talk about the big game that was on last night. That's how we get it right. People feel that they're getting a value when you're getting a generous portion, you're getting great service with it. Some of the new programs that we've launched have continued on that theme of just being generous with the portion sizes, making sure the guests are getting a good value. You know, the sandwiches are you know, well portioned, a lot of meat. You just don't find in a lot of places where it's a generous portion for the price that you pay. The fact that you do get free refills shows that they are generous. It's not about making money for them, it's about serving you. I think that says a lot. If it's a regular guest, giving them saying, hey, you know what, today the tea's on me. People spend a lot of money trying to develop loyalty programs that do those kind of things, but our really good operators are the kind of uh, folks that know that it's gonna be something that's perceived as a, as a value or a wow experience uh, to the guest. As our great marketing department at McAllister's Deli says, it's surprise and delight, and that's what we do. Uh, we try to surprise them with things that uh, they weren't gonna encounter anywhere else. You can. Establish a culture of that within each restaurant that you open, I think that you will see nothing but success because everything else in this brand, from the decor, from the way the restaurants are built out, uh, from the way the kitchen operates, the broad menu, uh, the sweet tea is a hit, it's a marquee item. I said, if you can establish that culture within your people, then you will have nothing but success in this brand.